Hello, my name is Lucas Basile. The topic of my essay is Sherlock Holmes in pop culture. My thesis is, throughout history, many people in pop culture have come to know Sherlock Holmes through different adaptations, children's books, and because he is a legendary icon. Sherlock Holmes is a household name and has entered the minds of millions. He has been around for a very, very long time, dating all the way back to the 1800s. Somehow, even to this day, Sherlock has remained in pulp culture. As to why this is, I will be diving into it. Probably the best place to start when talking about Sherlock is the creator, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Conan Doyle was an athlete and was aspiring to be a doctor. He also wrote a little bit. Although, he would not use this part of his brain till much later on. While studying in medical school, Conan Doyle met Professor Bell. Professor Bell would go on to be the inspiration for Sherlock Holmes. The reason Conan Doyle used Professor Bell and inspired a character off him was because he had insane attention to detail and he was smart and he was very clever. All very fitting characteristics of a detective. However, while studying in medical school, and after meeting Professor Bell, of course, circumstances changed for Conan Doyle. He had a worsening seizure disorder and decided that he could not be a doctor. Not being a doctor could allow Conan Doyle to focus more on his writing. He quickly got to work, and he developed a character based off Professor Bell. The first name for the character was Snitterford Holmes. Obviously, it was changed to Sherlock Holmes, but this would do for now, and it achieved the task of getting the ball rolling for Conan Doyle. In November of 1887, a scarlet letter was written and published. This was the first story featuring Sherlock Holmes. Reviewers of this book said that it was so good that detectives should take notes and try to be like Sherlock. You could tell that this novel was the first of many, many more for the Sherlock Holmes. One book in particular, The Sign of Four, featured a very matured and almost different Sherlock Holmes. I feel like this was huge for Sherlock because it showed that he could mature and almost fit a different adaptation. This makes sense as to why he was able to carry on into many, many generations to come and even our pop culture today. In a way, he made it so open-ended it was almost as if other authors could contribute to Sherlock. In one case, it was talked about Holmes meeting Dracula. This is almost comical because they are completely different, but Holmes was such a big name and he was so versatile that he could pull something like this off. Not to mention that Dracula is another iconic character. So the mashup between these two would certainly be epic. Sherlock Holmes had become so big that he was known around the world. And very, very early on, in the late 1800s, translations were made for other countries to enjoy Sherlock Holmes and mystery novels. This is definitely clear-cut evidence as to how Sherlock became a household name and how he became so big and so popular around the world. And even probably as to why he's still prominent today. Another very important piece that I found in my research is that there is an adaptation of Sherlock Holmes where Sherlock was a girl. She was known as Enola Holmes. This is very significant because Sherlock Holmes has reached a point that he is so iconic that he is being used as a vehicle for empowerment for women. Another adaptation that I stumbled upon during my research was one in which Sherlock was black. The fact that these authors use Sherlock Holmes is very significant. A lot of people know Sherlock, obviously. So it is no mistake that he is being used now as a vehicle for these other purposes. These issues are very important and hopefully other authors will follow in these authors' footsteps in trying to use different ways 
to finally fix these issues within our society. For Sherlock to become such an icon, there would have to be children adaptations of Sherlock themed stories in order for him to become so legendary and to still be prominent with pop culture today. For example, Of Mice and Men, Eve Titus Basil of Baker Street is an example of a children's themed novel of Sherlock style stories. This famous children's book series ran from 1958 to 1982. It was very famous and had a big impact on society. It only makes sense for there to be Sherlock stories for people of all ages, for him to be so legendary, and for him to still be a part of pop culture today. In fact, during my research in a book I was reading about Sherlock, they used the word Holmesian style stories. This is very significant because Sherlock Holmes has become so famous that he almost has his own style, if you will. In fact, some Holmesian style references and expressions have been ingrained in our culture. For example, in the 1980s, there was a movie called Little Pet Shop of Horrors. In this movie, a character can be heard saying the words, No shit, Sherlock. The expression is used when someone points out something that is very obvious to everyone else. Another time Sherlock has popped up in modern culture was in a TV show called Gravity Falls. This is a TV show, and in this mystery episode of Gravity Falls, Sherlock Holmes turns out to be the murderer. It is safe to say that Sherlock is ingrained into American society, as well as many other societies, but certainly into American society. Most people will know who Sherlock is. Sherlock has been so ingrained into American culture that based on the 9-11 events that occurred in 2001, an author was inspired to write a line based on it. The line was Sherlock saying what had happened. It is incredible that this tragic event inspired a line in a Sherlock Holmes story. It is crazy to think that Sherlock Holmes was created all the way back in 1887, and he is still being written about and used as a vehicle for grief. In fact, in the book I read about Sherlock Holmes, it can be said people are glued to their TV sets now, and back then they were glued to their books while reading, while reading and watching Sherlock. Sherlock has also won awards worldwide, especially in the US, obviously, in Canada and in Europe. Although I did not mention anywhere else in the world, it is known that Sherlock Holmes novels has been, have been translated into different languages, such as Japanese and Mandarin. A lot of new characters and people are inspired by Sherlock. In fact, people were so inspired that they started writing letters to the fictional character. Obviously, Sherlock is indeed fake, so he was not able to read the letters, and Conan Doyle was long dead at this point. But it still just goes to show you that people are so inspired that they would write letters to a fictional character. It is heartwarming to say that these letters were received and read by Sherlock Holmes authors and more people that contributed to these adaptations of Sherlock. Although this project was basically writing to a fake Sherlock Holmes, there turned out to be some real life Sherlock Holmes. There was a case in New York City about a missing girl. Initially, the case had gone cold for years, but a woman named Grace Hummingston looked into the case deeper and found evidence that was not initially there. She ended up finding the body of the dead girl many, many years later and uncovered some fatal corruption within the NYC PD. In honor of this honorary Sherlock Holmes, a book was written about her whole life. The sole fact that she was compared to Sherlock Holmes just shows you how famous Sherlock Holmes is and how people adore Sherlock Holmes. Through all these stories and examples, it is easy to figure out how Sherlock became such a legendary icon and why, is he, why he's still discussed in pop culture even today. 
Thank you.